I need some sunglasses for this. No! Patricia, don't do it! beautiful people welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well today i am coming to you bare not bare faced actually i'm coming to you dry lit because the girl is about to apply something new and i have the new kkw beauty lip cream and this is the first time i've received any pr from kkw beauty and to be honest when i got a dm i was a bit like have you got the wrong person like excuse me um i have been very honest of my thoughts of some of the items that i've bought from kkw beauty some have been really good some haven't been amazing some didn't always work for me when it came to shade some are really cool some are not right and i haven't reviewed anything in a fair bit so when i got this i was like you know what i really really wanted to try it out especially because you know one definition of nude is very different to another definition of nude some people's nude is like some peachy pinky something that makes me look like death walking and then my version of nude is more like a warmy chocolate kind of thing and when i saw this collection i was like oh okay well we are trying to work with this so i wanted to try it out i'm gonna swatch all of the i believe there's eight different shades in here and three different liners i've got two of the liners i'm gonna swatch them and see if i look good in the new kkw nudes so if you're not already subscribed you can subscribe if you want to but there is no pressure and also you got my instagram and my snapchat and my twitter i'll have that all down below but can we get right into it please let's do this this is a classic kkw beauty collection it's got that new that clear that minimalistic vibe and what i say is that kim has been really consistent when it comes to the packaging and the design and i genuinely feel like it's very her i am getting a little bit over just in general in beauty the kind of new thing and i'm wanting to see some like neon like we need some neon and the patricia bright beauty coming out real soon but one thing i'll say is that the brand is consistent this lip kit here which contains all eight lippies is a cool 144 dollars wow <laughs> it's a cool 144 dollars if you felt like you needed all eight nudes or if you are a collector type person then that's a lot of money but you know if you're a fan, it might be for you. I think that most people are just gonna buy one to three different individuals and a liner. I think it's really nice. I like the shape, I like the vibe. It's very cool and very collector. So this individual item costs 18 pounds. And I've gotta say, it's kind of dinky. It's kind of small. I don't wanna open it up just yet. And then we also have the lip liners. These go for $12. There are three different liners. And I was impressed because there's a light liner, a medium liner, and a dark liner. The one thing I find when it comes to liners is that I can never get a liner dark enough. And I only use matte chestnut and bittersweet. Those are my best liners. And I've also got an amazing one from Bobbi Brown in chocolate. Those are like my only three liners in the market that work amazingly for me. So here are the two liners. This is shade number two and shade number one. I mean... One, I'm not, I'm not sure about one on me. It's not even as ash as I thought it would be. Obviously, this isn't the kind of shade I would normally wear, but I'm, I don't hate this. It's very creamy, glides on really well, but this is the shade I was excited about. Ooh, for me, that's a really nice brown. I can go a smidgen darker, but to be honest, it's good. It's almost got a hint of warmth to it like a hint of red rather than a hint of casket so do i want a little more a little bit more punch a little bit more punch maybe a touch but it isn't bad you know what let's take the shades in numerical order this is shade number one which is giving me peachy nude which i'm not sure how it's going to look on me but let's let's get going no idea what this fit formula is but obviously it's called a cream lipstick <laughs> I need some sunglasses for this. This shade, no amount of work is gonna bring me back from the grave, even with the brown liner. Too light for me, obviously. But that shade number one, which is gonna be a perfect nude for someone else. The thing I will say is that it's not as pink as I thought it was gonna be. It's actually quite a neutral nude, which is surprising. It doesn't look that neutral, but it's quite neutral. Might have been the base I've got underneath. Casket ready, people. Great. In all honesty, I don't expect 
shades one to three to be wearable shades for me, but I think three to five, I'm excited about. Okay, let's try shade number two. Mm. So the difference between shade number one and shade number two is this has a bit more orange in it. It's a bit warmer than this one. So say this one's quite ne neutral, this one's warmer, but it's still ashy on me. Next up, we're going nude number three. This shade looks right up my street, actually. If I'm gonna go for my like, my pale, my pale nude look. Not a nude look that's meant to blend with me, but like when I'm going lighter, I would probably go for a shade like this. Mmm, ooh, that's nice. It's really creamy. I feel like this one feels creamier than the other ones. I don't know if that's in my head, but it feels a bit more creamier because the others I felt like they were kind of settling into the lines of my lips, but this one feels a bit more creamy and smooth. The worst thing is when like lipstick settles in to your cracks and you look like a desert, especially if it's nude in color. There we're going into a territory that I like. This one with the power of my liner, I'm good. And from here on, the nudes get darker and darker. Ooh, I might, can I get away with this without a liner? Maybe, should we do it? Hmm, I really like that shade, but you can see why I always wear a liner. I feel like I look ridiculous when I don't wear lip liner and wear a light color or a lighter color. But I feel like I can almost, almost peak get away with this without a liner. But you know, the black community are probably shouting at me like, no, Patricia, don't do it. <laughs> Wearing light lipstick without a liner in my community is sacrilege. Like, you don't do it, you don't do it. But this color is nice. Very nice feeling, creamy, giving me classic lipstick. I wonder what it feels like when you wear. I think I'm gonna do a wear test for the end of this video. Added a little liner. I feel like, there we go, there we go. I can wear it like this. I can wear it like this and I like it. I wouldn't normally do this, in all honesty, I wouldn't normally. Mmm, feels very nice. Feels almost like a moisturizing balm. It's sheeny, not shiny. It's not a gloss, it's a sheen, it's a creme, creme. Mmm, okay. So five isn't darker than four. It's like a different hue. It's more like a pink. I wouldn't call this a nude, I'd call this a pink. And I mean, I feel like my lips look a little bit like an anus. So, <laughs> no. No, not this shade. Let's try with a liner. Do you guys see the power of liner on me? Like on, on my chocolate? Listen, I can go from looking like an anus to looking like a goddess. <laughs> I feel like I need to sing like a song like the power of liner. Look at that. I like it now. It's quite pinky though. It's quite pinky. This isn't a nude, this is a pink, but it's a pink I am here for. We are on nude number six and nude number six has gone darker. Oh. It's a bit bricky. It's a little bit bricky, which I actually really like. So this is what it looks like without a liner. I feel like a liner is going to take it to the next level so it doesn't look strange on me. Because sometimes shades can be a little bit too close to your skin tone. But I think it's a really nice color. Watch what the liner will do to this, honestly. I like that. I really, 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 really like. It's a little bit bricky nude. It's almost like a, a burnt, a burnt ready brown nude. But for me, this is a good color nude, you know? This is a good color nude. I really wonder how these last. That's a real important question. These feel good on my lips. What do you guys think? Okay, nude number seven. We're getting a bit darker. This looks way more on the neutral side. Quite similar to six. These two are virtually, are they virtually the same? Can we compare side by side? feel like they're almost the same color. This is still on the bricky side, but darker. I think I slightly prefer this one, actually. 
Ooh, I like this one more. I think it's less bricky, more nudie. Oh, oh, it's bringing back to the 90s. Ooh, and the last shade on this spectrum, which I feel like it's a big jump. It's a big jump from here to here. Look at that. How are you gonna have this and it's like all the way? But okay, so this is this shade. I like it, I love a dark brown. Your girl has got her own little something coming, coming really, really soon. But um, for some reason, this almost has a bit of a green tinge to it. Or is that in my head? It could be my lighting versus more warmth to it. It's not bad, but I don't think this looks nice on me personally. But I like the way how sheeny it is. Can you see how sheeny it is? It almost looks like a gloss. Gotta say, these do feel great. I feel like we're going back to that classic feeling of a lipstick that feels good on your lips, like nourishing. Okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go back in with the shade that I like the most and give you my final, final thoughts. Okay, I'm back. So final, final thoughts. I love the liner. Number three, the dark liner, is a really good liner to wear with light shades or other shades when you wanna do a contrasting lip. That's the one thing I think is missing the most in the market, like no one's been doing it besides MAC, killing it with Chestnut and Bit of Sweet. Those two are still my absolute favorite when it comes to liners, but this is a really good alternative. Um, when it comes to the shades, favorite shade was number three and number six. And actually I like number four as well because I had the like the pinky, the pinky thing going on. I think it's really nice that, you know, KKW Booty is coming out with a diverse range of nudes because I know how hard it is to find that perfect nude. What's your nude could look like death on me. So I'll give you a little clap for that girl. In terms of the way they feel, nice, classic. But they're more like the cream is like neither a matte lipstick neither a sh gloss but it's kind of shiny so it i don't know where i sit with it i don't know if i feel like i wanted it to be matte or if i wanted it to be gloss you know i don't know your girl's not really sure yet but they still feel nice on and i feel like you can wear them all the time i know a lot of us are still like you know kkw is like problematic but to be honest judging from the product i really like to see how the brand has been going from strength to strength and really like developing itself further and taking on, you know, consideration. Because I remember when I tried like the Kim Kardashian range with Kylie, those lip, those lip creams, it was death becomes her. It was, it was dust, it was ash, it was gray. Whereas this is not, that's got warmth and richness and a variety, which, so yeah, what do you guys think? Are you going to be picking up any other collection? I do not think anyone needs to spend £140 on the whole set unless you're a fan. Actually, I do think someone, because if you're someone who's really pale, you can go from the really light one to the really dark one. It does. I don't think it works the other way around. Probably a model could do it and look flawless, but me, nah. No, I'm well. Yeah, I definitely think that for my shade, three, four, six, and seven as well, I really like eight. It's giving me kind of green, and I think there's nice alternatives. Um, so guys, that is my take. What's your take? Are you picking up any goodies from KKW Beauty? What's your thoughts on beauty at the moment as well? Do you feel like there's just a lot coming out? Um, I want to know down below, but in the meantime, I'll catch you guys later. Bye!